And for one man, this city proved to be a place of solace and comfort following a turbulent time in his life. Laura has been to meet him. I'm in Colchester's beautiful Highwoods Country Park to meet Adrian Warnock, who alongside his former role as a doctor since 2003, has also been a prolific Christian blogger and author. But six years ago, Adrian was diagnosed with leukaemia, going from doctor to full-time patient. He's also recently made the big decision to move his life from the capital to Colchester as part of his rehabilitation. One of the Psalms uh, talks about how there was a group of people that it describes and it says that, that God led them to a place of safety. And I guess the image is a bit like a storm. And certainly for me, the last six years felt very much like a storm. Um, and I was gradually led um, to a place of safety. And for me, coming to Colchester was a big part of that. And, and that's been my experience that whilst you know, the storm is still all around. You're in a safe harbour. So you're a prolific blogger, podcaster, which for the wider audience means you talk openly a lot online yes. about your experience, um, just about not just about your faith, but also yeah. your illness. Yeah. Uh, tell me a bit more about that. Why is that so important for you to share your story? Yeah, I mean, it went back 20 years ago, actually. Um, long before I got sick, I just used to like sharing what I was thinking. I actually do a lot less than I used to, but I still like to share. And so I think hopefully as someone who's been through some of these things myself, you know, treatment, chemotherapy, all these things, being in hospital, um, facing the loss of a career as a, as a young person when you don't expect that. And um, I hope that some of my writers might help some people as they're embarking on the journey. And after that initial diagnosis, did you at any point question your faith? Oh yeah, for sure. I, I remember sort of think, for example, thinking, well, God, you know, why have you stopped listening to my prayers, you know? This isn't part of the deal, you're supposed to help us out. So you start to question. But that very act of questioning is really what faith is all about, actually. Uh, a lot of people think faith is about certainty, but for me it's about that, that journey, uh, that, that battle, if you like. And for me, if you take away God, and plenty of people do that, they'll say, you know, all the suffering in the world, my suffering, other people's suffering, can't be a God. Um, but then you don't, you don't take away the pain, you just take away the hope. So we're here in Highwoods Park. You've yeah. talked about how your faith has been part of your journey and led you here to Colchester. It feels like you're in a really positive part of your life now. Mm. Yes, that's right. I mean, I think that something's changed in me, really, and part of coming here has been part of that. Getting out into nature, I wasn't able to do that for years in this very park. You know, I felt God's presence here and I felt, you know, something of um, hope here. And that process of gradually getting out, gradually meeting new people and then eventually you know, meeting my partner, getting to know her and, and getting on to marry her. It's all part of that journey. And what kept you, you know, steadfast through that process? What were the things that kept you going? Yeah, well, I, I had a whole raft of songs on a playlist that I used to listen to whilst I was having chemo, for example. And I looked for things that still had hope. Uh, and there's one song that was on my playlist called Good, Good Father. And it's like, it, it somehow talks a bit without it being twee about how actually, yes, God is still a good father, even though at times it might not feel that way.